program we'll be looking at today is D-Band or Derek's Boot and Nuke. D-Band is a hard drive wiping utility or data destruction utility. You will want to make sure that you have backed up the data you wish to keep as this program will destroy all the data on the hard drive or hard drives you run it upon. D-Band is extremely handy if you're going to sell your computer or throw your computer away or disc discard your hard drive or if you've acquired a virus, D-Band will erase all the data on the hard drive. Um, so if you're worried about identity theft, it'll take care of that. If you've gotten, if you've gotten a virus, it'll, it'll also take care of that, but you'll need to reinstall your operating system, of course, after you wipe it. Um, D-Band will run on a CD. DVD, USB key, or a floppy drive. So let's go ahead and download it now. We need to go to www.dband.org. Go down to the download sections. And you can see right under uh, DBAN download where you can uh, download the, the newest release. The old release and alternative download and source code is where you'll want to download the uh, USB key or floppy drive um, image, which is 1.0.7. Um, D-Band is currently in 2.2.7 beta, and, and I've never had any problems with the, uh, the beta versions of D-Band, but if you do, just download an older version. Let's go ahead and click on it and download it. Select OK. You can see D-Band is only 10.6 megabytes, so it's a relatively small download. Of course, you'll want to make note of where you download D-Band to. Now, in order to use D-Band, we'll need to burn it to a CD in this particular case so you'll need to insert a blank CD we're using Windows 7 if you're using Windows Vista or uh, Windows XP you'll need to download a third-party um, software application to burn an ISO image go ahead and click the uh, out of the autoplay dialog and we will navigate to where we downloaded uh, DBAN We'll double click the DBAN ISO image. Like I said before, Windows 7 handles that natively. So you'll see this Windows Disk Image Burner dialog come up. I generally like to uh, verify my disk and then just select Burn. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to burn. We'll go ahead and close this dialog out. And now your CD should be ready to use. You will need to ensure the computer is set to boot from the CD or DVD drive. And you'll need to insert D-Band, um, the D-Band disk, and uh, boot or reboot the machine. And we'll show you how to make sure that it's uh, set to boot from the DB or CD drive. Most computers, when you start up, you'll have the option to select a boot menu. Uh, this particular computer is F12, most are, maybe something else on yours. We'll select that, and you'll see that we um, have gone into the boot menu here. And we will scroll down to the IDE CD ROM device. If you were using a USB key, you, um, you would want to select that here. Some computers may not have the uh, option of selecting a boot menu. In that case you can enter the BIOS for this particular computer. You will hit the F2 button. And this is as soon as the computer starts up. This will take you into the BIOS. Be very careful when you go into the BIOS. You, If you mess a, a setting up in the BIOS you can't keep your computer from starting up. So we'll go ahead and navigate over to boot. Your particular computer may be different. This one relatively straightforward. Um, you'll see here the first boot device is CD-ROM, second boot device is hard drive. Highlight the first boot device, select enter. It's already set to where we need it. 
just showing you how to change it if you needed to. Go ahead and put it back on CD-ROM, hit enter. And we'll use the arrow keys and we'll navigate over to the exit. And we'll select enter. Select Y to save to the CMOS, the enter key, and now the computer should be boot from the CD-ROM drive. This is the screen you'll be presented with when D-Band boots. Um, as you can see here, there's several keys here. F2 key to learn more about D-Band, F3 for a list of quick commands, F4 to read about the RAID disclaimer. Um, you can press enter to start D-Band interactive mode or you can type in auto nuke and enter to start uh, the auto nuke feature which I do not suggest you do. Um, you may inadvertently wipe a drive that you don't care to so we'll just hit enter start D-Band in interactive mode. D-Band takes a little bit of time to start up so don't get discouraged. If for any reason D-Band hangs at this point and doesn't move on to the screen we'll see here in just a second, I uh, highly suggest you go back to the download and uh, download an older version and try it and that will usually uh, get you through. Okay, so we're in. You can see down at the bottom, excuse me, you can see down at the bottom. We have P equals PRNG, M equals method, V equals verify, R equals rounds, J to move up, K to move down, space to select, and F10 to start. Um, you can also use the arrow keys to move around instead of J or K. Uh, see the only drive we have here is this virtual drive, which I've set up for um, this tutorial. We'll go ahead and press the space bar, and that'll select this drive. Now we'll go into P. I'll we'll explain to you what that is. P is the pseudo random number generator. It really doesn't matter here. It's a pseudo random number generator. So you can you can either select a uh, Merzine Twister or ISAAC. I, I particularly just leave it where it was already set and uh, click the enter key and go back. The method. We'll hit the M key. You have several choices here. Your quick erase, RCM, RCMP, DOD short, DOD long, Gutman wipe, PRNG. If you just have, uh, if you just want to reinstall your, your operating system, you're not worried about identity theft, or um, you don't have a particularly uh, vicious virus, you can just use the, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police um, Technical Security Standard. I usually run you know, two, three rounds at the most. It's a nice, quick uh, wipe and does, does a really good job. If you're a little bit more concerned uh, about security, um, so you're going to throw away the drive or, or sell, sell the computer, or you've you know, got a really bad virus and you want to override it several times and you want to you up your security level a little bit, I generally generally recommend the PRNG or pseudo random number generator stream. Um, as you can see here it's a medium security level with four rounds and a high security level with eight rounds. Do keep in mind the more rounds that you run the longer it takes and the harder it is on your hard drive. Um, that's something to keep in mind if you're using an SSD. Uh, SSDs have a finite uh, number of reads and writes so just keep that in mind. We're going to, uh, since we're not worried about that here, Gutman wipe I do not particularly care for, but you know, as you can see here, it, it is uh, described as for use on solid state memory. This particular uh, tutorial, we're just going to use the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and that'll do for most use case scenarios. The next option is V 
or verify. Verification really doesn't matter one way or another. It's fine just to verify the last pass. You, know, you can, for whatever reason, you want, want to verify all pass, passes or just turn it off. Um, the next option is rounds. We'll click R. We need to hit the backspace key to change this. We'll click backspace. We'll just select two rounds for this tutorial. Hit the enter key. And now you're ready to start D-band. So we'll hit the F10 key. I will bring to your attention up in the right hand corner the statistics box. It'll show you your run time, the remaining time, your load averages, your throughput, and any errors if they occur. Also on the left hand side, the upper left hand side, you'll see uh, your entropy, which is of course we uh, D-band is uh, based on Linux kernel. Uh, our PRNG or pseudo random number generator is the Merzine twister. Our method is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, TSSIT Ops 2. Uh, we will verify the last pass, and the number of rounds we chose were two. As you can see, we've skipped ahead. I just wanted to give you uh, a general view of, of, a, of a successful wipe, just so you'd know what to expect. So we have success. And D-band has exited. And now you can simply remove the uh, device that you ran D-band on and reboot your machine with the OS disk in it or whatever you choose to do with the uh, hard drive. Thank you for watching.